It's the holiday season, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to go over some of the creepier videos on YouTube. First is called Teddy Has an Operation and was uploaded in April 2013. The weird thing to note is that the channel this is uploaded on, ZFrank1, typically uploads animal fact videos, but this is a strange departure. The narrator uses a variety of actual tools as he cuts open a stuffed bear. Inside are the usual fluffs of cotton, but also some blobs of candy and rainbow sprinkles. Things get interesting when deeper inside is a plastic unicorn and human body parts. Oh, that is a good sign. Teddy's crotch unicorn is healthy. That means his imagination is healthy. What a good sign, Teddy. Let's look at his kidney now. The kidney is what gives Teddy patience with kids. Some of these organs have things stuck inside them, like crayons, jewelry, and action figures. The video ends with Teddy being stitched back up after this three minute process. This is a tame start for the episode, but the use of realistic organs and blood, along with the weird narration, give it a spot here. I honestly don't know what else to say about this piece of satire. Oh look, Teddy is riddled with fear. He is afraid. Look at what fear does to your courage sack. The fear is removed and the doctor replaces it with curiosity. The curiosity will help Teddy's courage. Now the doctor must explore Teddy's heart. Here's a really small channel that is named by a bunch of R's. Now some might say these channels aren't as creepy, but some are if you think deeper. This features a random assortment of clips which seem to have hidden meaning, but instead of having visible codes and secrets, they are audio based. Now we still don't know much about how these audio messages mean, so a story or plot to this is unknown. The first video came out in October 2017 and shows a bunch of fireworks going off, but the sparks appear too glitchy. Little glitches happen in many videos, like appearing pixels and white screens. This video called Intercom came out a month later and shows this eerie painting and a Hebrew sung song. Three to Lev shows what seems to be a picture of a forest fire with the purple picture and tons of creepy and unnerving audio. But in contrast to that is this video, which doesn't even have a title. It has no audio, yet shows the cameraman going through an empty building. Some of the channel's more recent videos are more cryptic. This clip from May of this year is called Also Sprach Der Ditcher. Translating to, so spoke the ditcher in German. Take a look. The most recent video is called Le Chat Noir 2, translating to, the black cat in French. It shows several photos of a faceless woman and this mysterious figure behind her. It's just some weird stuff. Ben Wheel uploaded a new video back in October, but it's more of a tribute to his oldest video, Henry Eats. You start with this dude on a computer as he watches YouTube. It's a compilation of reactions and analysis of the original video edited it in a tribute sort of manner. What I like about it is the use of clips to show the original and the inclusion of Blame on George in it. We end with the dude being the green creepy guy from Henry Eats, staring at us as we see a shack. Again, some stellar animation from this dude. And comment your thoughts on the Henry Eats video. The Henry Eats video.
A lot of you will recognize this video, I Feel Fantastic. It's a classic in the YouTube horror genre, and I might as well explain the video's legacy. It's a music video featuring this mannequin robot named Terra. The song is, well, I Feel Fantastic, and goes like this. Even today, it's still distressing and disturbing. It's just this android monster staring into your soul. Now many theories were brought up about the origins of the video, since the channel that uploaded it doesn't own it. The main one was that this video is made by a serial killer that dresses up Terra with the clothes of his victims, and then the shots of the backyard was where the body is. Now as it turns out, this video was made by John Bergeron, a mysterious man we don't know much about. We know he's linked to Terra since the site AndroidWorld.com list him as the creator. On that site are links to five Terra videos, all of which don't work anymore. One of them is the I Feel Fantastic video, but the four others are Electricity, Metal Version, Brutal Metal, Please, Electricity, and Brutal One. Luckily, a Russian YouTuber named Brand Smetana, I probably mispronounced that, uploaded all five videos in 2015. But the channel is gone now, so shit. But I found what seems to be the collection of reuploads. Also, back in 2015, a YouTuber named Goddess of the Hobos was able to have a phone call with John, but he was hesitant and rudely hung up. That's the main info about Tara and the videos. It's been a decade and a half and no great leads. We just have the info on the site that had to been saved, along with many re-uploads on YouTube. Hello. Hello, is this uh, John? Is it John Bergeron? What's this about? I've got a lot of things I need to do. Of course, yes. My name is Kendra. I'm with the robotics department at University of British Columbia. And I was just calling, were you the person who um, did the Terra the Robot by chance? I'm working on a story about it. Uh, the problem is... Uh i got a lot of things I really need to do. I don't have time to talk. Okay. Would it be easier if I could email you by chance? Yeah, I just I don't have the time to deal with this. Okay, have I got the right Sorry. person at least? Uh, I gotta go. Have I got the right Bye. person? Okay. Memory Hole is a collection of weird and disturbing clips never featured on America's Funniest Videos. The channel began uploading in February 2014 and has been uploading regularly ever since. What I like about it is the variety. You have stuff that can freak you out, and other stuff that can just get a laugh out of you. A personal favorite of many that best describes the latter, called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fluffer Video. It features a jovial southern man seemingly nude in his bathtub as he sings a strangely catchy tune. These are the Ninja Turtles. She don't wear no girdle. He ain't got a big muscle. But I'm the one that's doing the hustle for ten thousand dollars. It sure makes you holler. Ooh, boop, With that out of the way, let's cover the more creepy side of the channel. This video is called Wormhole Grandpa and features this guy doing some odd facial expressions before showing whatever this is. <laughs> One simply called clown is what you would expect. Older footage of creepy clowns staring at you before showing a children's birthday party as kids run away. You end with these gentlemen sucking on what looks like a toilet paper roll or something. Papa89 has this weird mask thing some have pointed out to resemble Homer Simpson. The unnerving part is the eyes bulging out at every second, and for some reason we get footage of what seems to be a baby twitching its arms. Finally, here's a video called Shaving Cream Torture. 
The camera zooms into this man, who of all things looks like Malcolm from Little Baby's Ice Cream. And then it's just footage of a bunch of babies in pumpkin costumes, that's about it. Vaguely titled, Real Demons Caught on Tape, this special effects showcase is still really impressive, and this is especially since it was uploaded all the way back in 2009. Oh, and let me remind you again, this clip is obviously fake, but still enjoyable. It's of this guy frantically moving around this dark home before stopping, and pointing his flashlight around a room. A black hand peeks out through the ceiling, along with others. The room goes dark again until we see all of these hands covering the room and some limbs trying to come from under the door. Again, the camera goes dark, before a monstrous being shows itself. This is one of those videos I've seen a long, long time ago and just rediscovered while making this video. It's like a fever dream or something, I just don't know how to put it into words. But one thing I can put into words is that this early video is pretty memorable. Syriac is a classic YouTube animator who has been making content since the early 2000s. All of his videos, even older ones, still hold up and are incredibly vivid and imaginative. He can be recognized for animating several adults when bumpers and the like. They can be goofy, but some have a more sinister side. Here's a holiday-themed animation called The Spirit of Christmas, uploaded back in December 2012. This little boy is woken up by a worm, which is revealed to be part of a reindeer creature. Before fully dozing off again, it breaks through his room and transforms. <laughs> It's nonsensical, bizarre, and unnerving as shit, but there's more to cover. Two years before, in 2010, was a video simply called Something. A lot of it just happens to be black and white footage with some terrifying editing on Syriac's part. It's not the kind of video you can find a plot in, you just have to see it for yourself. Here's a video from last year he made called Breakfast. Not going to describe it, just look. Breakfast, breakfast. He gets some really impressive views, and for good reason. His strange style sticks out when compared to other animation channels I've covered before. Like, here's Moo, one of his animal-centered ones. Yeah, go check him out if you'd never heard of him. <laughs> 